Another big story tonight is that a smash and grab of a car or a garage break-in really doesn't shock anyone in the Bay Area anymore, but it might surprise you to hear about someone who was able to track down the thieves himself. That was the case for a man in the marina. He had a briefcase with thousands of dollars in cash stolen from his home. Cronfor's Rob Nesbitt talked to that man about his chase down of the thief. He joins us live. Rob, that could have ended uh, badly. Catherine and Justine, exactly. That's what police said when they arrived on scene. An Uber was waiting outside Cyrus Sanandaji's home back in June, ready to take him and his family to the airport. He needed to catch a flight to Italy for his wedding, but while packing up the car, he realized a bag with his valuables had been stolen. Laptop, iPad, medication, passports, cash. Most would panic knowing that all that had been stolen from their front doorstep, but Cyrus Sanandaji did some quick thinking at his marina home in San Francisco. Using his cell phone, he was able to track his AirPods in the stolen bag that were pinging at the intersection of Fillmore and Chestnut. He followed the blue dot that slowly made its way up Fillmore, realizing that the thief was on a muni bus, eventually transferring from the 22 to the 38 on Geary. With the Uber driver, we followed the bus and then cut the bus off at the next, at the next stop. I jumped on. His bag was nowhere in sight on board the bus, but it was when he got off that he saw a man handing his laptop off to another person on the sidewalk. At that point, I was seeing red, and I just head down and, and charged him and tackled him. I got him to the ground and wrestled. Uh, the Uber driver was great because he stepped in and pulled the backpack off of the, the guy. Sanandaji says the suspect managed to get away and run up the street. As far as the stolen items, everything was accounted for except for his iPad and cash. It was 9,000 euros of cash. So it was what we needed to pay all our different vendors for the wedding. Officers responded to the scene, surprised that Sanandaji was brazen enough to tackle the suspect in the tenderloin. Back in his own neighborhood of the marina, the crime seemed to be getting more serious. Within two weeks of us, of this incident happening in, in June of this year, someone was shot and killed two blocks down from, from our house. He blames a number of factors, from the soft on crime policies of the former San Francisco district attorney to low morale at the police department. Sanandaji knows the city's problems won't be solved overnight, but says it starts with the people and their power to vote. Whether it's local, state, or federal, actually has consequences, and we have the power to elect you know, and remove people from office. Santa Dodgy filed a police report the day his money and belongings were stolen. He's doubtful that he'll ever recover what was lost or that an arrest will be made. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.